travel to many worlds, and to many universes through the entirety of time and space. But there was one point, one sector of the universe upon which no one must dare venture into. This raw sector, this untamed galaxy, is prone to wild, unpredictable, and dangerous events, locked away behind a wall of time. But there are many tales that can be told from this mysterious underworld, and I like to call these stories The Remnants. <laughs> triple cover, you can ensure that all of your loved ones will receive all the support in the world at your time of death. In fact, it will almost feel like you never died at all. Dad, the power's gone out again. It's been forever fixing this ruddy fuse box. What is it? Oh. Have you broken it? Uh, don't worry, only temporary. It's a quick way of doing this. I found it on the internet. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, it's very simple. <laughs> Honestly, every time. Cass, could you come here and bring the sweep? Don't worry. I'm quite capable of picking up after myself. Literally. <laughs> you crack that same joke every time you get killed by that thing. I wish we could just call an electrician. Well, it's not that simple when you're completely undetectable to the mortal plane. <coughs> well, it's not like it doesn't have its perks. Maurice and Sandra Bentley had no idea what they had gotten themselves into when they inherited the Hillside Pemberton, known by conspiracy theorists as Phantom Hills. In case it's not clear to you now, those who die at the Hillside Pemberton continue to reside at the Hillside Pemberton. Post-mortem. Honestly, dear, there are a lot of ways in which an enterprising young girl like you can still live a fulfilling afterlife. <laughs> I, I can't go on like this, Grandma. I'm afraid you don't have a choice. None of us do. Dear old Mavis Bentley used to spend her life as a Quaker, opening her home to drifters, rent-free. She got very old, bless her heart, and as the first person ever to live in the hillside Pemberton, she would be the first of the Bentley family and the first person ever to discover the secret of the hillside Pemberton. Total isolation for all eternity. Never to leave the house, for the front garden was all she could reach. Mavis, is that you? Sandra, I expected at least another few decades until you would be here. You're looking younger than I had anticipated. Well, that's the faulty gas heating that Dad refused to replace. Cass? You're here too? And Maurice? You must have been going crazy here all by yourself for all these years. Well, I have been looking after someone that I know you were all really looking forward to meeting. Come upstairs, I'll show you. Take a look. It can't be. Stevie? Oh, my little boy. I, the architect, will fill you in. Stevie would have been Maurice and Sandra Bentley's very first child, but on the day of his birth, the Bentleys were not met with the sound of the pitter-patter of little feet, but with the despair of a parent grieving for a child robbed of his chance at life. He didn't make it a day on the mortal plane. But now he will make it for all eternity as a baby. All this time I thought you were the one that got away. I thought I'd lost you forever. Now I never have to let you go. Alas, it is not sunshine and rainbows for everybody. While young Stevie will never grow to understand the life he'll never live, the adolescent young Cassandra Bentley has all eternity to dwell on the fact that she a 21-year-old woman with an English literature degree will never be able to leave her parents' home. And worse yet, she gets soiled nappy duty. Bless her. It's a compromise, but they find plenty to do in their eternity from the scaring of real estate agents, prospective buyers, and, well, 
Let's just say the neighbors really wonder how the hedges stay so well trimmed. But it's all yet to unfold for the Bentley family, as little did they realize just how long one's after lifespan can feel when an unwanted guest comes over to stay. What the hell was that? Wow, another perk of the afterlife. I just blink and the roof's all fixed, see? <laughs> this house wasn't such a bad decision. It sounds like something landed in the basement. We have to check. Got it. I'll grab the torch, you grab the knife. Systems malfunctioning. Irreparable damage detected. Enabling reserve health supplies. What the hell is that? Looks like a robot. Fleet communications disconnected. Weapons non-functional. Death imminent. Oh, no way. That thing can't die in here. Relax. Robots don't have ghosts. We should still scare it off anyway. Under attack! Identify yourselves! What's going on down here? Oh, it's a robot. Finally, something interesting. Life systems depleted. Hey, Dad, it's got a plunger. <laughs> Finally, we can unclog that downstairs toilet. Cass, don't play with that. Exterminate! Terminate. Okay, excitement over. Back to bed. Let's go. Well, it's here for good now. Robots don't have ghosts. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweet pea. Cass, dear. A ready meal is not a breakfast. Okay, A. Why shouldn't it be? It's got a sausage in there and some beans. Two staples of the full English breakfast. B. I don't exactly have much choice, as the fridge and cupboards only contain the same food every single damn day, and I had Weetabix yesterday. C. What does nutrition matter if I have no health to even worry about? We are dead and will be in this exact same state for all eternity. Nothing is going to change, so will you just... I'm sorry, Grandma. It's just... All eternity is starting to feel like a really long time. Good save. Another outburst like that and I'd have to drown you again. Mavis, I won't tell you again. She's my daughter and it's not your place to drown her. The toaster tub technique is far more effective. Probably the most effective method of killing I've experienced anyway. Cass, go get your mum. Tell her to bring the knife. Exterminate! Okay. Let me explain to you how this works. Oh, for crying out loud. You are exterminated! Explain! Look, mate, I'm going to have to ask you not to do that again. That was definitely the most painful one yet. Toaster tub technique is now officially number two. And let me tell you... <coughs> what was the point of the... You weren't wrong, Mo. I haven't experienced that much pain in years. Mobility system non-functional! Explain! Wait, hold on. I am confined! You can't get out of the garden. But it's a robot. Cass googled it. That thing probably is Google for all we know. It's been sighted on Earth before. It's a battle mech. Won't be a very advanced one if it can't get off the grass. Actually, it's the most powerful in the known universe. But inside it lives a pilot. Oh. Mom, Dad, eternity just got better. We have a cat. He's so cute, I'm gonna name him. Ouch! Just a shame about rage is the machine over there. Seriously? No? You have all eternity to develop a taste for young people music. <laughs> you people sicken me. Exterminate! So, are we not going to address the alien psychopath in the room? It's going to be an adjustment, but 
Hey, you wanted a little more excitement in your afterlife? Touché. Well, I like to think two can play at that game. It's behind me, isn't it? Correct. Which of you owns this prison? Well, the deed has both Maurice and I's name on it, but you've just killed him again. So I doubt he's going to want to do as you ask. You believe that you have imprisoned me? You believe that I will not escape? That I will not prevail? The Daleks always prevail? That was the name. Dalek. Hey, Dalek, question. Can that gun of yours act like a microwave and heat up my breakfast? Oh, for Christ's sake, Cassandra. Maybe, Spendley. So, you've taken the time to learn our names, then? You are the elder of your group. I shall speak with you privately. The rest of you shall remain until ordered otherwise. Hey, Mavis, sounds like he likes you. You know, you're never told for days... <laughs> I hope that blaster can reheat food, because I am not happy at all with this so far. You really made an appalling impression in the single day you've been here. You will be silent! Your judgement is irrelevant. What are you, and what is this prison? We are just ordinary supernatural ghost people. And this prison is our home for all eternity. Perhaps you would like to share a few details about yourself? We can get to know each other considering we're going to be sharing this eternity together. The Dalek fleet will be contacted and we will level your prison to ash and dust. Connecting to Dalek fleet communications channel. Identify yourself. I am a Dalek. Assistance is required. Identify yourself. I have identified as Dalek. You will receive. You will obey. You will answer. You will receive. Answer. Answer. You will receive contact. Receive contact. Receive contact. Oh my god, this is hilarious. It's literally having an argument with itself now. Communications channel terminating. Do not terminate! You will not terminate! You will persist! 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 Maximum extermination! Exterminate! 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 Mobility restricted to sending back to ground. Ha! Sorry, Teacup. Many have tried demolishing this site long before you, and nobody has succeeded so far. And I have to say, I'm getting kind of used to that laser gun of yours. Explain! 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 The Dalek fleets will be summoned! You will be exterminated permanently, and your prison will be destroyed! Big promises. We're all very scared. Uh, just to be clear, I am actually scared. Well, the good news is that suicide is no longer Cass's favorite hobby. She's already started researching witchcraft methods so we can get rid of that horrible thing. How long has he been here already? Just the one day. I think we may have gone to hell. Feel like there's not enough hours in the day? Well, suck it up. You'll have plenty of time to sleep when you're dead. New Vino's Dark Brew is extra caffeinated. Warning, side effects may include heart palpitations, diarrhea, blood clots and death and is not to be consumed by expecting mothers, children and people afraid of bees. You are the Elder. You don't have to keep reminding me. You possess the most information regarding this prison. I've told you everything I know- Silence! 
The information will be extracted directly. <laughs> Nothing. There is no necessary data. Are you not tired? I heard you all night screaming at your friend on your hotline. Form a line with your associates. I will exhaust every last brainwave in this prison to find answers. Gotcha! Ah, ah, oh. Oh, I can feel the blisters growing on my chest. Hostility will not be tolerated. You will be exterminated! Thank you. Please. Commencing total intelligence extraction. Stand in line! An infant human lives within these walls. You are mistaken. You try to deceive me? I swear there is no child. Just stop, please, I beg of you. If you get within two meters of that child, they'll be held to pay for you for all eternity. I'll give you supreme being. What is it that you do not understand, Maurice Bentley? I am a Dalek. Daleks are the supreme beings in the universe! I was created to survive any species in any circumstance! What are you, Maurice Bentley? You are a small human male! Yeah, but you can't kill me. In time, it will be clear to you that a Dalek will always find a way of killing an inferior being! There is no circumstance in which the Daleks will not prevail! So run away, hide, because nothing, not your home, your compassion, your technology, your weaponry, or hostility can protect you from the Daleks! That's the best speech I have ever heard. The child will be destroyed! It was as if God, or their perception thereof, had enacted the cruelest of judgment unto the Bentleys. The monotony of living in the same house with the same people, the tensions that arise with that, swiftly became eternal damnation at the hand of the devil, or in this case, the Dalek. The years became decades, the decades became centuries, the centuries millennia. Of course, it wasn't easy for the Dalek either. Imagine a creature obsessed with death and power, unable to achieve either for all eternity, surrounded by everything it swore to destroy. Day 538,740 I look at my window and see how much the world has changed. The human race has achieved so much outside these walls. Cars fly, houses and towns look colourful and exciting to look at. Yet there's a lot more wildlife on the streets too. It seems like everybody has a pet robot. I guess we set the trend there. You will succumb to total extermination! You will die! 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 I hope this hurts! If anybody finds this diary, please, send help. There must be some method you wonderful humans can use to destroy this house. Exercise all supernatural life from here. I don't know how it is I'm staying sane. Every day is filled with horror and agony. Dad's trying desperately to protect us from that thing, but I know how much it hurts him. Being shot at, having his face sucked off, being thrown around in his own home. And I know what it's doing to him mentally. Please, I beg of absolutely anyone, end this. Forget what I said about human achievements. Sing, 
God's sakes, make sure not a single one of those things dies in this house. Human inhabitants, show yourselves or you will be exterminated. You have found me. No life form detected. This location is abandoned. You will hear me. All Daleks, follow, follow. I will follow. No, I cannot move. My mobility is restricted. Help me, help me. I have failed. I am not interested in your crocodile tears. My purpose is to ensure the survival of the Dalek race and exterminate all inferior beings in the universe. And yet, I cannot kill or escape or reach assistance. Last week, you admitted a gas in a bid to choke us all to death. That includes my children, my grandchildren, who I swore to protect. We spent six hours choking, but no death. Do you have any idea what that was like for us? I have no sympathy for you. You're a psychopath. Initiating self-destruct sequence! <laughs> I'm surprised you're not still chasing after the Dalek. I think I'm at one. You don't have to do this, you know. I swore I'd protect you. You don't need to. We're all just as immortal as one another. You all deserve a good night's sleep. Well, perhaps I can help. No, Cass. This is my responsibility. It's my fault we're all here like this. I should have replaced that stupid boiler. Well, it's not so bad. I think if that Dalek has taught us anything, it's not just that we're mortal. We're immortal. I'm proud of you, Cass. Question is, where's the Dalek now? Mavis? Mavis! What is it? You seen that Dalek anywhere? I can't say I have. I'll get the axe, you get the torch. What's happening to it? I don't know. Hey! Hey, you okay? I do not understand. Hey, let's just both stay calm now. Maurice Bentley, hey. this is beyond all comprehension. We all know how it is. We've all been there. The Daleks do not help me. It is going to be okay. Heck it is. I am far from even with him. You do not comprehend, Cassandra Bentley. I am a Dalek. My purpose is to ensure the survival and supremacy of the Dalek race. Through the extermination of all inferior life forms, the Daleks must survive. The Daleks must reign supreme. The Daleks need to find a new hobby. Don't push your luck, Dad. I'm surprised we're talking this long without it blasting us. We must survive. And yet, I cannot kill. I cannot conquer. The Daleks do not recognize me, and I cannot escape. I hate to break it to you, but you didn't survive. What am I? What is this? You crashed through our roof ages ago and died in our basement. Since then, you've killed us too many times to count, and you yourself have died like five times. It's where you landed. This place is not a good place to die. EXPLAIN! Nobody's tried to sell this house in millennia. It survived a few million demolition attempts. Those who die in it, stay in it for life. We kept prospective homeowners at bay and avoided them dying on the premises at all costs. You were a bit of an exceptional case. Kind of crazy it took you this long to actually listen. Dad, let's go inside. Come on. Oh, I hate that thing. 
I know that. Let's go in. Come on. Total hypocrite. So, you've been very quiet lately. I have failed. Yes. Yes, you have. As a Dalek, I would order you to change tact. As a Dalek. You are not a Dalek. What is a Dalek then? Go on. Talk me through it. We survive. Okay. In many ways like us, since we can't be killed. We are supreme. Oh, that's purely subjective. We exterminate inferior life forms. Mm. Tell me, Dalek. What is that sofa made of? Leather. The flesh of a cow. Another life form on this planet. Cassandra eats microwave sausages for breakfast every day. Meat. Formerly a living creature. We kill other creatures who survive too. We've got a rich history of it. Look outside the window. You can see that the people of this world have advanced over the course of millions of years. They drive around in vehicles just as you do. Many of them armed with guns just like you. And they change just as you do. I cannot identify myself anymore. Something has changed in you. I won't deny that. We're able to sleep at night without you harassing us, and it's much better that way. It is futile. The Dalek philosophy is futile. Has it ever occurred to you that a part of survival is a willingness to adapt? You're not a Dalek anymore. Just as we are not humans anymore. We're past that. We're phantoms. All other species are to be exterminated! Here we are all Daleks. You are one of us. You are not Daleks! Maybe it is time to redefine what a Dalek is. Because you said it yourself. You cannot fulfill the Dalek purpose and trying to do so has brought you nothing but misery. Maybe what you thought a Dalek was isn't really a Dalek after all. You are inferior! Think about it. If Daleks are the supreme beings, then how come Daleks are unable to coexist in the afterlife? We're a family. We love one another, and that's something we can still do even now. It's what keeps us sane. Each other. Coexistence. A Dalek can't do that, though, can it? A Dalek must kill to survive, but... If it is already dead, it cannot kill the souls that surround it. Then, how is a Dalek the superior being? I must be supreme! Then be supreme! Those other Daleks rejected you. They left you here and they never looked back. You are dead to them. And if you look outside the window again, you'll see that humanity is still here. Everything you believed is a fallacy. Hundreds of thousands of years of metamorphosis have changed the Daleks. There is no circumstance in which the Daleks will not prevail. The Daleks conquer and destroy. The Daleks are supreme. The Daleks are... You... Yes! At last you understand. We are the supreme beings, and we will always survive. Dalek Elder gave me orders. You will familiarize yourself with the social conduct of your fellow Daleks, and inform yourself. You will disarm yourself and coexist with your own kind. I obey. I think the coast is clear. I can't believe we're doing this after all this time. Finally, a quiet moment. I love you so much, Maurice. Maurice. Yes, honey? Fellow Daleks. <clears throat> yes.
Yes? What are you doing? <sighs> Dalek unit, you must be quiet. You will wake the Dalek younglings. They must rest for conquest, and I suggest that you do the same. I obey. Now, where were we? You are an inferior being! Exterminate! Exterminate! Cass, can you hurry up and finish with the microwave? I want to heat up my breakfast. Mavis, you've got all eternity to get your breakfast heated up. Actually, I've got a much better idea. Dalek! Can you heat that up for me? Minimum extermination. Exterminate! <laughs> Looks like yours has three minutes left to go, Cassandra. As for me, breakfast is served. As always, we urge you to stay in your homes during these unprecedented times. Together, we will get through this. If you need to go to work, do try to bring something to shield yourself from potential gunfire. I recommend our sponsor, Big Metal Sheet. Warning, only protects against earth bullets. Success rate is not 100%. Will conduct electricity, so do not carry in thunderstorm or presence of electricity. Act now and get a free security camera. Avoid unwanted guests from ever visiting your home again with our extra loud sirens! Maurice, you're the expert at this. Ah, uh, maybe I am, but Dalek over there's the supreme being at it. Dalek? What is it? There are important repairs in the carrying out of the fuse box. Are you able to assist? Assisting now! Have any of you seen my diary? I can't find it anywhere. Talk about a literal ghostwriter. I'm not even sure if I believe a word of this diary. Although, records do state that a lone Dalek was sighted in the skies above the hillside Pemberton all those years ago, never to be seen again. If only the Daleks could know about this, hey? The supreme life form hell bent on destruction and cruelty broken down and deconstructed by the bonds of family. In the long run, compassion always triumphs over hostility. And that goes for all of you. What? Oh, right, yes, the diary. She'll get it back, just a quick trip to the copy shop. Cassandra Bentley is going to be a bestseller. After all, the dead can still dream. And this also marks the end of our journey, my dear listener. You have stuck with me through seven glorious adventures and misadventures, and I cannot thank you enough for allowing me to take you through it. But of course you'll be back, won't you? Of course you will. There's more stories to tell in a realm where anything, and I do mean anything, can come to pass. I have been the architect. These have been the remnants, and they have been unleashed. Good night.